Hello Windows Experts, today we're going to talk about the Windows Free uh, Operating System and I'm going to test it and get some information about it after the intro. Okay, for clarity, is Windows Free the first operating system that is released by Microsoft and developed? Um, it was released on May 22, 1990, so that's uh, two years after the release of Windows 2. Uh, the support ended on uh, December uh, 31, 2001, uh, like the other uh, operating systems that, are, that were released at that time. This is the successor of Windows uh, 2.1x. They added some new features like a revamped interface. Interfaces uh, looks a lot different than Windows uh, 1 and 2. There's memory uh, management improvement, so there is more capability for uh, memory space. There are more multitasking uh, abilities, so the memory is uh, improved. That means that uh, there's more ability for um, multitasking and uh, you can run uh, programs at the same time. Yeah, you can save it in the taskbar. Uh, there is also there were also uh, some applications added like the paint brush uh, paint just uh, normal paints Microsoft Paint is changed Microsoft Paint brush like uh, a new interface in the application itself a uh, new text editor macro recorder computer and a new card game solitaire uh, there are also 60 bit color icons so better uh, resolution of color icons and it includes protected and then change uh, you need system requirements uh, your computer needs system requirements to have Windows 3 uh, Intel processor of 8086 and 8088 or higher the operating system can uh, need a memory of 384 kilobytes uh, a hard disk of 6 till 7 megabytes MS DOS 3.1 or higher and a mouse is recommended because uh, you have to click on applications and that is really easy for use. Uh, there are also updated versions of Windows 3 like uh, Windows 3 A as released in December 1990. It had improvability for more pieces of data above 64 kilobytes. Uh, Windows 3 with multimedia extensions released at October 20, 1991. And it had support for sound cards, CD, ROM, files, and more devices where you can uh, run on the operating system. Uh, Auto Facts, this is the first aware operating system uh, that's pre installed with hard drives. Yeah, you need a hard drive to install this. This is also the first operating system with, you see widespread use. Also, there are some non officially versions released like some speed of the floppy disk updates because you have in the time floppy disk. This operating system is a rival of the Macintosh and the Commodore Amiga. And now we're gonna test the operating system on the computer. So I will bring you to the computer. So we're on the computer now and as you can see I installed it already. The installation was a little bit difficult than the other because you have first have to install MS-DOS 6.22 and then you can install Windows 3 uh, and you have to put uh, floppy disk all the time. So as you can see this is just uh, how, where you start up. You see the file manager, yeah it's all where you can, all, uh, you can find all the files of it. So, yeah, how uh, 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 files that uh, can function Windows, as you can see. And I have an A drive and a C drive. The A drive is, I think, the uh, floppy disk, and the C drive is just for CD-ROM. With the control panel, I think it's just adjusted because uh, on Windows 2 you had only a uh, few, few uh, options. So uh, you can choose it: Bordeaux, uh, color, style, which style you want. And you can choose your fonts. Yeah, this is the first time uh, you have uh, various fonts of a Windows version. Uh, ports. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the settings of your screen, I think. Desktop. Which pattern you want. So uh, the background of your, of your desktop. 
uh, wall. Oh, you can also do wallpaper, but it is only BMP files. That means it's really bad quality. Keyboard, daytime, and sound. Oh, you have a warning beep. That's the only sound of Windows 3. I know Windows 3 don't have a startup sound or whatever. And you have also support for more printers. You have write. Yeah, that is uh, just uh, just writing. Nothing special. I already see it in the previous video. Paintbrush. Oh, paint is a really big change. Of a uh, interface is a fully changed. There are new functions on it uh, where you can yeah r yeah draw your picture and also you can cut something and in that square so paint was in that time really special and really changed and uh, opposite with the windows 2 version of uh, it and uh, select your thickness of your of your pencil and then you're gonna save it i'm curious if the space will work on this no still not Okay, you have the terminal, that's just for uh, companies. So, um, oh, and for foxes, I think. Notepad. Oh, this is a new text editor of Windows 3. So, text is better now. Recorder. Oh, yeah, you have the macro recorder. Oh, they uh, record all the actions you do on the computer. Card file. I think some, uh, when you want to have members or something, you can write it here. So, uh, tomorrow and it will save it there and then or for writing some uh, phone numbers calendar yeah that is uh, really uh, familiar calculator also familiar interface a little bit changed so the clock yeah it's always uh, easy when you want to uh, know the time and the pif editor i don't know what that is uh, program file name Maybe some programming pro uh, program, so where you can make programs with. So, uh, yeah, I can't do that thing. Oh, you have new uh, games, and I thought uh, Reverse will be replaced by Solitaire, but we have both. I played it already on Windows 2, and I don't understand, so I'm gonna skip this. The Solitaire, I oh, when you open too much too much programs then uh, the error code will say out of memory S i have to close some uh, applications okay i uh, closed uh, enough uh, application i think so uh, this is really recognizable because i played it before and uh, i know a little bit how this works okay how does this work i played for a long time ago so so this can Okay, this is just a game, you can play with cards, and then you have the main, that's just a uh, DOS prompt. Oh, this you're going back to the DOS, what I've installed. But this was a preview of Windows 3, I hope you enjoyed it, and learned a little bit of the old Windows operating system. And i see you in the next video, bye.